for the puck to drop here between the Wildcats and Utes here on this Saturday night of the Weber County Ice Sheet. Uh, John McBride and John Scatty yeah. with you here. The opening lineups have been announced, and uh, John, we're ready for some fast action here tonight. It's a good crowd tonight uh, here at the Ice Sheet. And one of the things uh, I want to point out before we get underway uh, with the puck dropping is Pete Gibb, the freshman for the University of Utah Utes, he's going to be in goal tonight. So that's an interesting call uh, going up against the rival. So it'll be Gibb against Torgerson between the pipes. Judice facing off against Ben Reed. And the Wildcats win it, brought back to the point. Tim Brownell with a quick pass along the boards to Roberts. Roberts gets the puck poked away from him, but regroups once again. We're going to be calling that name a lot tonight as Chris Roberts continues through the neutral zone, gets over the blue line, caught in his skates, and the puck just barely chipped out, almost a break for the U. But the Wildcats in control once again going D to D. Put behind the net by Josh Judice. Now up to Curtis Snowball. Snowball, a dangerous pass in the middle. Picked off. The U player... Deep in the zone, can't get a shot off. Now back to the point. Shot far wide of the net. Bounces in front, dangerously quick shot. Big save by Jonas Torgerson in the first minute. Tim Brownell just dumping into the corner for a quick line change, but uh, John, big save there by Jonas early. Yeah, a bad turnover that time. Weaver State in their own end is, they've got to control these turnovers. Here comes the U, looking for an opportunity there. It's taken by Dominic Lancaster and played through the neutral zone. Here's Avery House up on the left wing. Tries to poke it deep in the zone. Plays his man. Wildcats can't get it in the middle though. It's Chris Deitch in the corner now trying to do something. He's played very aggressively by Ben Wilner. The U of U defenseman there in the corner. The U will pick it up once again. Uh, John, you can tell by looking at the bench, the U definitely with some more bodies on the ice as uh, as we mentioned, the Wildcats a little banged up. Uh, the Utes might want to take advantage of that and play a bit of a quicker game as they counter here through the neutral zone and dump it deep. Well, the key for Weaver State, you're talking, John, about the a little bit smaller lineup, uh, short changes, quick line changes. You don't want your guys out on the ice too long because that's eventually going to wear down. Both teams have pretty quick so far on that line change as uh, the U changes all but one player. It's TJ Smith in there deep with some good work on the puck, but it squirts loose the other side for the Wildcats. Can't quite clear the zone, now it comes out through center ice. And that was Chris Roberts uh, with the puck again through the neutral zone, trying to find an opening. Nice pass to Judice, but he can't handle it. And that will be covered up by Pete Gibbs. 17.50 left to go here in the first period. Uh, pretty tame action for all but one shot on Jonas Togerson so far. And uh, coming off a sloppy turnover in their own end, the Wildcats are going to have to watch that. Well, the key, like I said, is Weber State's got to get off quickly here. Haven't had in the first two minutes and 30 seconds really a lot to talk about offensively in uh, Utah's end for the Cats. Face off one by the U there, played along to the point, and that's Jesse Love keeping it in the zone behind the net to Curtis Snowball. He couldn't come up with it, and the U is out in transition. There's the captain for the U of U poking it deep. Uh, number 28, Mike Virtus, second in the scoring, second in scoring for the U this season. Uh, Virtus having a solid campaign. He'll chase after the puck once again on Brownell. Brownell, a big body back there, 6'4". Does a good job of playing that high off the boards and that does squeak out past the defenseman. You know, I think one of the things interesting uh, in the early on here, John, is that both teams see, a, other than that shot of kind of just seems like they're filling each other out to see where their weaknesses are uh, and, and nobody's making too many mistakes. We'll see if things tighten up here, uh, but so far uh, it's pretty loose just letting, feeling, uh, feeling each team out. Face off one there by the U and a bit of a knuckle puck in there on net on Torgerson. Does a good job to steer that wide. The Wildcats will look to break out once again. Roberts, a nice play on the board. So Judice goes off his skate and he can't quite clear the zone. Wildcats regroup once again here. Josh Judice still with it. Trying to find an open man. Turns back once again, gets it to Brownell. Brownell to Roberts and finally out of the zone to Snowball. Nice play there, John, uh, by the Wildcats to be patient on that breakout. The key here, too, now with the line change, John, is to get in Utah's end. They've yet to really had a consistent uh, series in which uh, Weber State's been in Utah's end. Here comes the Utes the other way. Pass through center ice. Goes over about four different sticks and finally into the Weber State zone. Played back out once again. 
Now Brownell across to Sean Schindler. If that's a bit of a tongue twister for us tonight, Sean <laughs> Schindler puts that into the corner. Wildcats on the puck there. Avery House trying to come up with it, can't quite. The puck's played along the sideboards. Jesse Love trying to keep it in, and it comes back out to the neutral zone, and the Wildcats will have to tag up on that offside. Here's Chris Deitch, the bit of room here, across the blue line. Deitch down the right wing. Puck poked off of his stick by the University of Utah defenseman Andy Johnson, and Utah comes up with the puck once again. Big hit there on the sideboards by Avery House. Puck played high along the boards. House comes up with it again. Four University of Utah players right around him. Nowhere to go, and there's a shot from the neutral zone deflected by Torgerson, out of play for a whistle. 15.37 left to go in the first frame. Still no score in this one. I think she's kind of very calm so far, I, and uh, I'm still waiting, uh, John, for that first time when Weber State can sustain some offensive action in Utah's end. It's a nice face-off win there by Judice, but the puck comes around the boards. No one there. Screenshot. Another nice save by Torgerson getting tested here early. The U continues to press on the four check here. Jesse Love comes up with the puck, plays along the boards. No one there once again. Another giveaway. And Mike Virtus was wide open in front of the net. Good thing the puck was deflected there. Virtus once again back to the point. Played into the corner by Ryan Hurris. Hurris, number 23, the highest scoring defenseman on the University of Utah squad, having a good season. Weber State having trouble clearing the zone here. Finally comes out to Roberts. Roberts now two on two the other way with Snowball. Roberts tries to toe drag. Can't quite get that puck th past the defenseman there. Ben Wilner, a nice play to stand up Roberts. Utes coming the other way. Here's a quick shot. Wilner, short side on Torgerson. He scores. And the University of Utah takes a quick 1-0 lead. Just five minutes and 19 seconds into this one. And it's going to be number 18, Ben Willard, the defenseman who made a solid defensive play on Roberts. Transitions the puck the other way in a quick wrist shot. Hey, you're exactly right. Utah does a good job. They don't waste any time in the neutral zone. They get deep into Weber State's ends. And Weber State was very slow coming back defensively to defend that. And consequently, the goal that time by Robbins. It's a good point. It was all about that speed coming through the neutral zone there. And Wilner makes the Wildcats pay. 1-0 here early in the first period as the Wildcats try and regroup now. The Utes, but with more pressure offensively. Here's Tim Brownell in the corner. Nice play to take out his man. And Avery House chips it out. House with some room here. Two on two. Avery House down the wing. A shot deflected wide. And Curtis, or that's Dom Lancaster on the wing. Can't come up with the puck. And it's played right back out to center ice. And Jesse Love can't get that one deep. Love will regroup once again. Over to Brownell. Brownell, trouble with the puck, and Jesse Love will finally get that in. And finally, a shot on goal for Pete Gibb, and that's about as easy as they come from the neutral zone. It's a nice clearing play by the U defenseman, but right under the tape of Weber State. Here comes Josh Judice across the zone. He's tripped up. This is going to be a penalty coming to University of Utah. Delayed call here as they touch up. It's going to be a tripping call. And who are they going to get here? It looks like number 25 for the U. That's uh, Rokas Pirogas. It's actually from Salt Lake City. You wouldn't know from the name. But uh, Rokas that Pirogas. Good. That was good. That was good. Uh, that was goes some... to the box for tripping. <laughs> Sometimes those names are off. But listen, Weaver State's got an opportunity to even up the game here, John. They've got a power play five on four. Their power play is a little stagnant, so let's get a go on the board uh, here early on. Really a chance for the momentum to shift right here as the Wildcats have the extra man. Josh Judice on the sideboards, down low to Snowball. Snowball back to Judice. Some good control here early. Quick shot from the point from Schindler, and that's turned aside by Gibb. Nice shot by Schindler, though, to keep that low and hard along the ice for a rebound. Just no Weber State player there to pick that up. There's a big hit by Judice behind the net, but the Wildcats can't come up with it. Nice play to keep it in the zone. Yeah. Slap shot. They score. Weber State ties it up on the power play on the big time shot from 
from the point. Adam Davis. Adam Davis comes up with a shot. Big time goal for the Wildcats there. It's 1-1. I, I didn't mean to scream there hey, right when that goal, but uh, Davis doing a nice job. Good job by Weber State to kick it back to Davis. Davis right there on the far point, wide open, took that shot. And good work and good traffic up front by a couple of Weber State Wildcats, including Dom Lancaster. Lancaster doing a nice job screening Gibb that left Davis with the open shot and the goal. Big time goal there, uh, and yeah, chance for Weber State to really pick up the momentum. As we say that, the Utes win the draw, come right back the other way. But really a solid power play all around there. Uh, had control right from the outset and scored that big goal as we have 12.45 left in the period and we're back tied up one to one as the Wildcats come the other way. Trying to get into the zone was number eight, Riley Hazeldine. Hazeldine in the corner, plays that in front and Gibb will cover that up easily as he snatches that out of the air. 12.33 left to go in the first now. The Wildcats with another offensive zone faceoff, and all of a sudden this is a whole different game. Yeah, tied up 1-1 one, one, uh, and Weaver State starting to get into some sustained action, uh, John, in the uh, offensive zone, and that's going to pay off later on in the game. University of Utah with another faceoff win, but kept in by the Utes again. Nice play there to uh, keep that in the zone by Jesse Love and almost gets a shot off. Wildcats now controlling the corner. There's Hazel tie plays that in front. Story, that's Nick Beerwolf, number eight. Hazel Don usually wears eight. He's out of the lineup injured tonight. So Beerwolf with some good play and he's on in, the in on the four check again. Plays the body, Beerwolf going in there hard. He may have taken the worst of that one though. University of Utah coming the other way. Nice play by Deitch there to lift the stick on the back check, and the Wildcats put it right back into the University of Utah zone. Utes trying to break out once again. Wildcats maybe with a bit of a neutral zone trap. Well, not anymore as the neutral zone's wide open. Here comes the U the other way. Played around the back of the net. Well done there by the defenseman. That was Adam Davis once again to keep that player wide. And here's Chris Roberts, always dangerous with the puck. Roberts with speed across the blue line. Roberts played quickly. And uh, John, it looks like the University of Utah knows exactly what they need to do defensively is that icing's waved off. Um, they need to stop Chris Roberts. Yeah, and, Brutus, and that time doing it. Yeah, you're exactly right, John. As here comes Roberts the other way now, gets the puck in the slot. The pass back to Snowball. He couldn't get a stick on it. Nice vision there by Roberts to look for the freshman streaking. But here comes the U the other way as we've got a bit more of a pace to this game now. Played behind the net. That was number 17, Andrew Reed. Now in front, wide open, walking right out in front. And a nice save there uh, by Torgerson, but uh, left wide open was the University of Utah forward Bert there. It's a Bert stretch Dignoli pass to Roberts, can't yeah. quite get through. Bertignoli had a nice opportunity to get right in front of Torgerson. Torgerson doing a nice job moving laterally across the crease to stop that point blank shot. Here's a pass back to the point. Shot and a big save. Nice quick shot from Colton McDonald there at the point and Torgerson turns it aside. I was looking everywhere for that number 24 in the score sheet when I looked everywhere except for that leading scorer spot yeah. where Bo Bertignoli stands. Uh, dangerous offensive weapon for the U as he just walked right out from the corner there. Wildcats trying to regroup here and get another goal. In the corner, it's Jesse Love. A nice play to sidestep side step the four checker. Play to Deitch, who can't get it deep. And now Avery House. House taken off the puck. Deitch again with a nice play to lift the stick and uh, get the puck, but the U's come the other way. Nice job by Weaver State, not letting Utah get past the blue line. Kind of collapsing on the puck there in an odd man rush. University of Utah getting a line change there as the Wildcats had a bit of time. Now it's played out by Lancaster over the red line, but the U with a nice job transitioning right back. Tim Brownell steps up at the blue line, makes a nice play. They've got a three on two the other way now. Curtis Snowball down the right wing. R Snowball trying to get wide, walks in front of backhand. Just about snuck that in there. Curtis Snowball, the freshman from Ogden, Utah, the hometown kid, having a good freshman year so far and almost got his third goal of the season right there. Wildcats now behind their net. Played back into the corner. Here's Snowball once again with the puck. He's got some time. Walks out. 
Makes a pass up to Judice. Judice looking for Roberts on the far side. A bit too far in front of him. And the puck played back out to the neutral zone again and now played over the boards for a whistle. 8.43 left in the first, still a 1-1 game, but it looks like the Wildcats with a bit more momentum. Yeah, John, I like what I've seen here. Uh, kind of a sl uh, slow first couple of minutes. The key, I think, was opening up the ice. Roberts doing a nice job pressing the puck in deep, using his speed. Granted, he hasn't had any big shots, but the key is that he's getting in the zone and giving other Wildcats an opportunity to fall in on the trail. Yeah, it looks like the U is going to swarm Roberts as much as they can tonight, but as quick as Chris Roberts is, he's going to find space all on his own, no matter what the U tries to do, as the Wildcats have some pressure here deep. Played behind the net. Avery House in front. It's deflected just wide as Don Lancaster is right there. House comes up with it again. Avery House trying to control. And that's uh, Nick Beerwolf behind the net putting on pressure as well. And the shot from the defenseman, uh, Sean Schindler there, deflected up over the glass. Out of play for another faceoff. 8-16 left in the first. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, Looking at, at these two teams, remember they're in the cellar, but they definitely want to get this win because it means a lot to both teams, uh, especially when you've got all your in-state rivals. You got Utah State, BYU, and the University of Utah, John. This is key. They beat Utah twice already and have uh, home ice right now. Here comes the U the other way in the slot shot. Just wide of the net. He had a ton of time there in front. Uh, that was number 12, Daniel Constantino for the U uh, as he almost finished off that three on two, but the Wildcats prevail on that defensive play and are going the other way. It's Chris Deitch through center. Dom Lancaster will just dump that deep and get another line change. Uh, that's a good point, John, about this in-state rivalry as uh, the Wildcats almost come up with it there. Um, this is becoming more and more of a rivalry, the uh, Weber State against the U. Um, previously, it was kind of just Weber State and Utah State, and then BYU started, started uh, you know, giving them a run for their money. And now the U, uh, you know, not looking very good the past few seasons. It's really picked it up this year. And uh, really, as you say, adding to that Utah rivalry between BYU, Utah State, Utah, and Weber State now. Well, I think the I thing I like about Utah this year, John, is the fact that they're very deep on their bench. And that's really been beneficial to them uh, and getting a lot of playing time for all the guys. Yeah, you, you look at their stats and they've got uh, six guys with 10 points or more uh, as opposed to Weber State who has two players uh, in the 20s for points, but that's it. The, after that, you've got four players tied with seven points apiece. So that secondary scoring, not so much there for the Wildcats as it is for the U. As uh, again, we see some more neutral zone play here. Both teams struggling to get it deep. Here's a break here. If Judice can get there first, he can't though. It's Ben Wilner, the Utah goal scorer, who comes up with the puck and will take this through center ice. Wilner dumps it deep, and he's going to be the first man in there again. Wilner showing a ton of speed here early. Still on the puck there, and now kept in at the point, but knocked down. And the Wildcats coming the other way. Oh. Big hit by Wilner. He's everywhere. Here's a quick shot. Another big hit as the shot was blocked. Utah picking up the physicality now. Yeah, nice job that time uh, by Utah Riley. Riley Hazeldean got hit hard that time. Oh, a chance for uh, Avery House there in the slot. Couldn't get the shot away, though, off the turnover. And now we've got a whistle here to end play. And we've got some chirping going on there between two players. The referee is going to escort someone to the penalty box. And it looks like it's a Utah player. Now he's pointing to the Weber State bench. Might be coincidental minors here, John. Yeah, it looks like uh, the captain that time, Mike Vitrus. Looks like it's going to be Virtus and uh, Dom Lancaster both going to the penalty box here. Most likely offsetting calls, but uh, the ref probably seeing a bit more physicality, wants to take control of this game early, not let things get out of hand. Yeah, John, uh, especially with an in-state rivalry game, the last thing you want to see is two teams getting uh, with penalties. It reminds me of, you know, the Sabres and Maple Leafs, the Blackhawks <laughs> and the Red Wings. A lot of physicality, a lot of emotion. Yeah, and, and we've certainly seen it here in this arena quite a bit. Uh, Weber State fans 
no to see that penalty box quite full on a regular basis. Uh, Wildcats always known to be a physical team. That's kind of part of their identity. And uh, so I'm sure this isn't the last penalty we'll see tonight. You know, but uh, John, with those coincidental minors, the thing I like is the fact that we've got four on four. You know, and that's one of the things it'll really see out. See, let's see if the game picks up and spread the ice. Yeah, a ton of open ice out there now as we've got four on four play. And played along the boards there to Chris Deitch. Deitch now up to Avery House. He's got a one on one. Quick slap shot off the laces of the University of Utah defender there, uh, Ryan Hurris, and he's going the other way. Loses the puck there in the neutral zone, but we've seen this a few times now, John. Uh, the, the University of Utah defensemen are not shy to, to carry that puck up and join the rush. So here comes Utah the other way again. Quick shot, big save, rebound, and Torgerson's got it once again. Not sure what happened on that rebound, but it looked like the University of Utah forward didn't get as much of that as he wanted to. Uh, Torgerson was lucky to, to get that and not let another rebound go. Bertignoli comes in on that time on the right side, but then Cole McDonald is left all alone and is not being covered and picked up. Weaver State, McDonald gets a second chance opportunity as the puck goes off Torgerson's uh, pads, but a nice job by Torgerson to cover up that rebound. Torgerson has come up big when he's needed to tonight. Uh, really didn't have much of a chance on that first goal, and since that he's been real good. And here's another big chance and another save. Again, University of Utah, that was another defenseman there. Uh, number 21 for these, Adam Brown. Freshman defenseman just walking right in. And uh, Torgerson had to be sharp there. It's a nice pass off the boards by Brownell to Judice. Josh Judice over the blue line, he loses it. Not sure if that puck was hopping on him or what, but uh, couldn't quite control it. Roberts now can't get it as that puck's bouncing, and he'll go back into his own zone, wind things up and put it along the boards there for Jesse Love. The Utes come up with it again, more battling against the boards. Tim Brownell gets some feet, arms up on the player and Jonas Torgerson had to be sharp there as he poke checked the puck away and then had to uh, react to that immediate shot right back on him. Brown, uh, Adam Brown that time fighting off the defense still manages to kind of flip it up on Torgerson and Torgerson very alertly watching uh, Brown there just kind of grabbed it in his chest. Catching a football almost. Looks like we're gonna get a, another two penalties here as Chris Roberts uh, will go to the box for Weber State and continues to talk uh, to his counterpart on the other end of the ice. Didn't grab the number for the University of Utah player. Looks like it's going to be another two-minute minor, and those players are still chirping at each other. So again, John, the uh, in-state rivalry continues to heat up. Well, that's just a dumb penalty. That's the second time in the first period, coincidental minors. Utes win the face-off here. Played toward the net and blocked there by the Wildcat defenseman, Sean Schindler. Come the other way. It was Nick Beerwolf along in this, uh, trying to find Curtis Snowball. Turned over and the Utes come the other way. Beerwolf with another nice hit along the boards. He's been pretty physical here early for the Wildcats. Now battling in the corner for it. It was Bertignelli and uh, the Wildcats, Adam Davis. Now the first coincidental penalties are over. The Wildcats come the other way. Quick shot by Snowball and uh, Gibb had to be quick on that to, to turn that away, and the pucks played back out, and the Wildcats regroup. Here's Beerwolf once again over the line, gives it up now, have to be careful in transition. The Utes going the other way, nice back check by Chris Deitch right there to take the puck away. But the Utes come up with it once again, almost centered in front. Now the puck's gonna come to the blue line, just barely kept in at the point. And the Utes continue to control. Now finally chipped out by Brownell. It's not going to make it all the way for an icing. But the Utes come back to try and regroup. 2.57 left in the first period. Got a 1-1 game still. Jesse Love with a nice pass to Deitch. And Deitch almost one-touched it right on the tape to Avery House. But the Utes come in and take advantage of the turnover. Ooh, dangerous pass there by Brownell. Almost came right in front of his goaltender. But again, played high off the glass and out. Utes now with a quick transition play. Bertignelli, quick shot and turned aside by Torgerson. 
Bertignelli, John, smaller frame, but uh, finds his way into those scoring areas on the ice. Yeah, Double B uh, doing a nice job, even defensively, he finds out the defense to get off a good wrist shot. Again, we saw a Ute defender try and take that puck in on his own. Played well by the Wildcats that time, and this is going to go down for an icing call as the University of Utah player did not cross the red line. And the Wildcats will get another offensive zone faceoff as Chris Roberts, and it looks like it was number 17, Andrew Reed, both get out of the penalty box for their coincidental minors. You know, uh, Weber State coming into this game, John, they are ranked 12th in the ACHA. Utah is unranked, uh, but their records aren't that far apart. So there's work to be done uh, on both ends, but Weber State can put their rankings in the right direction with the win tonight. Uh, goals, you know, the first goal was made by University of Utah, Ben Wilner, and uh, then Adam, Adam Davis scoring a short time later uh, to tie things up at one apiece. Things have started to pick up, John, too, in the pace of the play. Uh, like, it was kind of stagnant in the first couple uh, minutes there of the first period here, but now uh, with just 2.07 left to go, things are starting to pick up. And it looks like the University of Utah coach wanted some sort of explanation on the last penalty calls, and it looks like he got that from the referee, and will resume play here with an offensive zone faceoff. Puck is won back to the point and played right back in deep by Schindler. Now in the corner, played along to Snowball. Snowball puts that right back in for John Bumstead. We haven't called his name yet tonight. Out there for a shift and uh, he can't come up with the puck as it's chipped past him once again. Here's Lancaster, gets a piece of that. And Wildcats trying to hem the Utes in their own zone here. Now the Utes break out and go the other way with speed. Down the right wing, pass back in the middle. It's broken up. A nice play by uh, Davis there to block that pass. Uch showing some speed here, though. Played back in the middle, and no one there for the Utes as they're going for a line change once again. Schindler plays it across. And that was Snowball plays it to Lancaster. Lancaster up to Bumstead. Bumstead in the middle makes a nice move all alone. Tried to play that into the slot but uh, no teammate there to pick that up. We're down to one minute left to play here in the first period as the Utes chip it in here. Looks like they went in offside, so we'll have a faceoff just outside the blue line with exactly one minute left to play. Wildcats and Utes both trying to build some momentum before that first intermission. It's really important that they, they keep doing this uh, so far, both teams doing a nice job of getting into each other's zone. Josh Judai tried to chip that past a man. Couldn't quite do it, but it looks like he may have drawn a penalty. Or is he getting called for a high stick here? Wow, that's an interesting call. Josh Judai is going to go to the box, pointing to himself as if to say, who me? It looked like he just tried to chip that puck past the defender and his stick kind of came up as he tried to put it around the defenseman and get past him and uh, inadvertently clips a man and that's a tough break for the Wildcats there as they're going to go short-handed here in the last minute of the first period. Well, it's kind of a killer too. Uh, like you said, John, with under a minute to go, not only is the U going to end the period on a power play, they're going to start the next period with a power play. Nice play there by Tim Brownell to clear the zone off the faceoff. Look at that hustle by Avery House. Great speed there by the sophomore forward, Avery House, to put some pressure on the Utes going the other way, but they're right back and they'll set up for their power play formation. Tim Brownell, that long reach, gets a piece of that puck. He'll try and poke it off again. 30 seconds now left in the period. Brownell can't come up with it though. Bertignelli on the sideboards, looking for an open man. Bertignelli walking out in front. Plays it to Virtus. Virtus with a shot. Rebound. Bertignelli scores on the power play. 15.5 seconds left in the period. And uh, that changes a whole lot going into this first intermission. That's a killer, John. And four Utah Utes players right there, five feet in front of the net. All converge. Virtus doing a nice job holding it near on the near near post of us. And then Bertignelli sprints to the other side of the post. Virtus, uh, Virtus's shot goes off the... Uh, Torgerson's pads and Bertignoli right there for the pickup goal. 
picking up the trash and putting it in the net. Right, I mentioned it earlier, Bertignelli, not a big guy. Oh, there's a big hit by uh, number 10 for the U. That's Charles German with a big hit there on uh, Beerwolf. But uh, we mentioned Bertignelli, not a huge guy, but gets into those scoring areas. We saw it right there as he got that rebound. And the buzzer goes to end the first period. Two to one, the University of Utah uh, leads it here after one period of play. And uh, John, it really was the power play that made a big difference here in this period. Two power play markers coming, one for each team. Yeah, if Weber State gets started uh, on the power play uh, with Adam Davis there, it's slap shot from the far point. And then, boy, with just under a minute to go, Weber State's gotta be feeling pretty bad. Josh Judice, I know he's probably wondering why was I called for a high stack? But, uh, you know, uh, nonetheless, so University of Utah wasted no time and crashing the net. Bert Ignoli there getting the goal assist that time from Virtus, so it makes it 2-1. Well, we'll take a break here uh, during the intermission. We'll be back for a second period action. This is Wildcat Hockey here brought to you by 88.1 Weber FM. We'll be back for the second period after this.